Hello, today we're gonna to read a story. Love is family. What do you think the story is about? What do you see? I want a real family, said Lily, slamming the screen door shut behind her. And what would that be, her mama asked. More than just you and me? Tonight is family fun night, and I'll bet I'll be the only kid in the whole class bringing just one person. What kind of family is that? A small kind, teased mama, but it's still a real family. Lily didn't want to have a snack with mama like she did most days after school. The house was too quiet and too neat. I'm going next door, she said. Melissa's house was never quiet and never ever neat. Melissa had four brothers and two sisters. She shared a room with her sisters and every night they had a pillow fight before they went to sleep. When I go to sleep, thought Lily, all I get is the next chapter of the book Mama and I are reading together. Lily played with Melissa in her noisy, messy house until Mama called her home to get ready for family fun night. Mama asked, do you want to call Uncle Mike and Uncle Aunt Lizzie to see if they'll meet us there? Uncles and aunts don't count, Lily told her. Sometimes I wish I had sisters or dads who live with me, or at least a brother or something. I know, said Mama. Sometimes I wish that too. But most of the time, our little family feels just right to me. Love is what makes a family, and we got plenty of that. How does Lily feel? What does she want? Lily knew it was true. Even so, her lonely feeling wouldn't go away. She kept worrying about how to be at the weirdest family at Family Fun Night. But as it turned out, they weren't. When they got there, they saw plenty of families that didn't look like Melissa's. Lily talked to a girl who was there with just her dad. She came back and whispered to Mama, Remy's mom died and she has no brothers or sisters, so there's just two of them. That's how I grew up too, said Mama. Lily had forgotten about that. It felt weird to think about her mom as a little girl. But how could your dad brush your hair and make it pretty, she asked. Did he know how to braid? Or the barrettes even on both sides? Grandpa learned to do things because he was my daddy and he loved me, Mama said. He also banged peanut butter cookies and planned fantastic birthday parties. He sang songs and told awful jokes when I needed cheering up. There are many ways for families to show love as there are different kinds of families. Lily pointed to a girl in her class, like Tamika. Her mom and dad showed love by adopting her and getting her a puppy and freezing that big wad of gum out of her hair with ice cubes instead of making her cut it. Mama laughed. And how about Josh and Tony across the street? They don't have parents now, but they have grandparents who pop popcorn for scary movies, rescue balls from the roof, pull splinters out of dirty fingers, and catch lightning bugs. I call that a family. At family night, they saw families with stepdads and stepmoms and half-sisters and half-brothers. They were single moms and single dads and families made up of all different colors of skin. Everyone was laughing and showing their love by being together. What is Lily learning about? How many different families are there? How many different type of people do you see? But later, walking home in a cool night air, it was just Lily and Mama again, alone under a million sparkling stars. Lily pointed. See that big bunch of stars over there? That's how big Melissa's family is. That's a nice bunch of stars, said Mama. Yeah, but look at those two pretty stars twinkling over together over there, Lily said, smiling. They're just like us. They're shining just as brightly. Mama, someday we'll be old and I'll be grown up, said Lily. And do you know who will brush your hair then? It will be me. And I'll braid your hair for you and I'll make sure the barrettes are even on both sides because you and I will always be a family and we'll always have love. Mama squeezed Lily's hand, and those two stars shine like the brightest diamonds. The end. So what was the story about? Why did Lily feel lonely? Why did she feel sad?
What did she want? How many different families did she see? And what happened at the end? Thank you guys for reading.